Hey, this is Frozen Fresh with another video. This is five tricks to improve your video, so grab some Nutella, rub it on your booty, and let's get it. Hey Patrick, tip number five, partial animations. <laughs> Basically superimposing a partial animation onto an image that you've drawn. So like my SpongeBob animation, I recorded myself, I blacked out the area around my face, I animated the face, and then I drew a SpongeBob character, and put one on top of the other like that. Or with a ditto, I had it panning coming closer, so it looks like it's moving forwards, but it's really just getting slightly bigger. You can see I did it here with Magneton. I used a filter on my eyes, and then I animated the eyes, and I applied it to the Magneton. Tip number four, not so special effects. Bangkai! So if you guys are like me, and you don't have any special effects programs, but you do want to have some cool stuff happening in your videos, one of the more easier ones, drawing like a pool of blood or water, you put the image in your editor and then apply a panning effect. It looks like it's spilling outwards, cutting out the sky of one of your backgrounds and then applying another background behind it and then add panning to that to give some life to the image. Special effects like fire, electricity, or energy, you can draw those and then alternate between two to four different forms. And for electricity, you generally want it to jump around really quickly, fire is a little slower, energy, you know, you kind of have it going up. Using opacity, you can make one character turn into another if you want to have like a transformation. So I did that with this demon here. Basically, you take the same footage and draw the keyframes two different ways and then have them overlap and have one of them lose opacity as the other one gains it. Man, I'm really tired. Like, oh my god, tip number three, internet videos. Yeah, so this is another really useful tip. Oh, look at those, Armageddon. You are going to screen record other people's footage from YouTube. I've done this with video of a crocodile, a girl's breast growing, people walking through a hallway, someone getting hit in the face with a slow motion soccer ball. It's really convenient, honestly. I hit him with a Kamehameha. Tip number two, cool backgrounds. So this is a way to make super easy backgrounds in about 30 seconds. I used to draw them out, but I found that took way too long. So what you do, find an image from the internet of a real life background, one that suits your video, put it into GIMP, which is a free program. I think you can also do this in Photoshop though, and apply an artistic filter called Water Pixels. And it's a kind of a cool look that goes really well with the cartoony vibe of absinthe animations. That was a great battle, Pikachu. Tip number one. Snapchat filter. Use a free program called Snapchat. So I really recommend this. I don't see other people doing it and it can give you a huge advantage in your animations. If you want to make a character female, if you want to make them a strawberry, a police officer, an animal, an anime character, all sorts of things are there. You just have to search it in the search bar and it's a filter. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you want to, you don't have to. Let's end with me dancing in front of clients at work. <laughs>